Sparklings! Today I have a very special video and something I've never attempted to do before, which is an art show and tell. I know that people have been asking for one of these for the past few years that I've been doing YouTube and the camera that I had previously or a couple of the cameras I've had previously had horrible white balance issues and so I couldn't really show anything because it wouldn't look like anything, just a blob. So I was avoiding doing art show and tells. However, I'm going to try and do this today because it's a special series of kind of three-dimensional wood plaque stuff that I concocted in the past couple weeks. Uh, all of these will be for sale on my Etsy shop. I would really, really love the support if people could buy these because it can help pay for my rent. And I hope that everybody likes them. So the first one that I ended up doing in this series is probably this one. So I found, I drew this image last year uh, on marker paper and I wasn't really using marker anymore and I'd drawn it at work and I forgot about it for months and then I found it again and I was like, you know, this image is actually really cool and I'd love to do something with it. So I decided to trace it to watercolor paper, paint it, cut it out with an X-Acto knife, and then I ended up finding a piece of wood plaque at Michael's that was exactly the size that I was hoping I would find and ended up doing this kind of cool, weird, conceptual piece. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I don't have meaning behind any of these. They just sort of turn out this way. And so you have this guy in a business suit with a uh, fox head holding a crystal in his mouth and it says, of dreams and night blooming things at the bottom with my signature. So this is in watercolor, on watercolor paper glued onto um, a piece of plaque wood that is painted with acrylic. And it's got this nice 3D element to it that doesn't really photograph perfectly. But I, I thought that this was kind of a cool idea. And once I got one, then I just kind of got the ball rolling and decided to do more. The second one that I did, it was also the same thing. I found the image that I'd drawn last year and decided to work with it. And I don't know what it's supposed to mean either. The original image was based off of Peter Steele holding a bouquet of lilies. And so I just kind of decided to make this weird creature guy. Because for some reason, I love drawing humans with creature heads. I don't know how I started doing that like a year and a half, two years ago. But it seems to work just fine. So this is the second one. It's called Funeral Lily. Um, I believe the third one that I did was this really big one right here. And it has little mirrors glued onto it and smaller pieces of wood glued on that are made out of birch. But again, it's the watercolor figure and smaller watercolor figures with the acrylic painted background. And so I ended up with all these mirrors and um, I guess while I was painting it, I got an Angel Spit song in my head. So I took partial lyrics from the song 100% and at the bottom it says, now it's raining bones. So I don't know why there's skeletons in the background, there just sort of are, I don't ask questions, but I thought this one was cool and I had a lot of fun with this guy. Uh, another fun one that was kind of different because of how 3D it ended up being is this one, Swamp Dwellers, that I ended up doing and it has these like plastic like fish tank plants on it. I don't know why I opted to do that, but it seems to work. Um, I ended up going with a couple of different folklore creatures, the Nixie and the Kelpie. And so I just kind of ended up having them in like in the same space. Again, the Nixie is cut out of watercolor paper, but the rest of it is acrylic and mixed media with this trim. It's the only one of these that is of a horizontal format. I thought that one was fun. Um, another one that definitely has more of a 3D element to it with this plant matter going on here, this fake wisteria, is this um, little Victorian vulture guy with the banner that says Death on Wings, Death by Surprise, which was inspired by my recent watching of Michael Soavi's uh, The Cemetery Man. So again, I have some little mirrors going on up here, um, some cheesecloth, a little bit of moss, and uh, with the main ink and watercolor central figure uh, because bearded vultures are really cool looking and look kind of like dragons so I thought that was a cool head for this guy so this was a fun one uh, another one that was kind of interesting to do um, mostly because I really like the shape of this frame because after I did the, the first couple I ended up just stocking up on wood plaques and then just sort of coming up with anything that would fit and again, I, I like drawing skulls on people's bodies and I thought that the hair was a cool thing to add in. I can't remember who the model's name is initially that I based this off of, but I've seen her stuff around on Tumblr and I thought this was a cool image. And these are all little cotton uh, flowers 
from that I took from my mom years ago for from her scrapbooking phase and I just thought that it added a cool little bit of 3D element to this. Um, I kind of like that you can still see both the wood grain and the brush strokes on the background and that I have this weird ombre effect going on the outside edges. This one's a little less 3D than the others and it's heavily inspired by those like uh, carnival um, like quarter fortune tellers. Uh, so it's just kind of, it's not meant to be aggravating or offensive because I know people are, are very touchy. It's supposed to be based off of those penny games. And I kind of liked this idea of um, like the Madame Zoltar kind of character. I don't know why, I thought it was, it was kind of entertaining. Um, not to be creepy, but the image is based a little bit off of Alison Eckfeldt because she makes for a very good model for some drawings sometimes. So I thought this was kind of a fun one with the little crystal ball and the turban and the extra eyes just being a bonus. This one probably also has really heavy 3D elements. Um, this was one of the more recent ones that I did at the end of this series. So it features two women that are embracing and I actually bothered to draw tattoos on one of them. But again, with the little cotton flowers and little paper roses and little mirrors uh, with this kind of stippling effect going on in the background. So it makes for kind of um, an interesting 3D effect with the flowers. And then I did do some smaller ones too. Um, that ultimately when, when they're listed, they will cost less. So this one I call Queen of the Seasons and it does feature some real fall leaves glued around the outside edge um, with a little bit of watercolor in the middle and the acrylic on the outside and a little bit of ribbon glued around for extra contrast. So that was just a cute, simple little one. This one was kind of fun. It was kind of freaky looking uh, with the girl with the weird eyes and the deer headed creature behind her lost in the woods. Uh, this one's called In the Forest Dark and Deep. I thought that was kind of um, a fun little image that I ended up finding and superimposing. So this one's a little bit rougher and simpler. I kind of like the simplicity of it. This one was also pretty simple, not really a lot of frills, um, kind of sort of based off of a friend of mine, but this weird vampire lady seeking vengeance um, with partial lyrics from Jack Off Jill's Strawberry Gashes, which says, curse me, sold her. And so this one kind of has a little bit of this weird blood splatter effect. Um, I certainly hope that no one is offended by gore that watches my channel, seeing as I talk about horror movies so bloody much, but. There's also this one, which I thought was just kind of cute. It says, as above, so below, with a little floating witch with a bunch of candles. So all the candles were also done in watercolor and cut out individually, because I'm crazy, with the flames painted on in acrylic. So that was kind of a fun one. And then the last, Three are actually meant to sort of be um, a, a triptych. So these were the last ones that I painted. So here's the central figure um, with some black sea glass around the edges and um, a raccoon skull with crystals on the head. And then the other two um, were uh, albino ravens, again with the black sea glass around the edges and that old nursery rhyme kind of came to me when I was doing these. So it's the starlight, star bright, I wish I may, I wish I might, around the edges of the three pieces. I don't have enough hands to be able to show all three of them at the same time very well. But ideally, they do all kind of line up together and kind of make a complete image. So that was kind of a, a fun idea. Uh, the 3D elements were definitely working pretty strongly in that one. Anyway, so that's the whole of this special series. I hope that they read okay for my viewers. Um, they are all available on my Etsy, which like every single video is listed in the description. Uh, for those of you who can't quite afford the Etsy stuff but would like to help support me, there are prints and stickers and stuff and all kinds of other things available on my Redbubble, which is also listed in the description. I hope that you guys like this special video. I don't know how often I can get around to doing special art show and tells just because it's kind of rough and most of the art that I do is either on people's skin or in my sketchbook. Anyway, till next time, darklings.